Hey, this is Ryan, and this is the first in a series of Cisco iOS tutorials. Today's topic is QoS through an MPLS cloud that is quality of service through the MPLS cloud. Okay, let's look at uh, the diagram for this and uh, kind of explain the scenario. You've got your corporate network on the left connected to a Cisco 3750 uh, Metro switch. You've got two ES ports on that, enhanced services. Enhanced services meaning stuff like QoS and other layer 3 features. Simulating the MPLS cloud with a 4948 switch. And connected to that 4948 also is another 3750 um, for the remote site. At that remote site, we've got the users on VLAN 148. You may also notice VLAN 88, which is just the management VLAN. That's what we're going to put the uh, uh, 3750 uh, and, and other devices on just so we can manage them um, meaning telnet and, and all that good stuff SSH I mean <laughs> and um, the requirements for this project are um, this remote site is a smaller site so uh, we're not paying the, the entire gig rate we're not we're not going to purchase a gig for them we purchased 10 megabit per second and unfortunately the switch doesn't know that you've got to tell the switch that this gig uh, really is 10 meg and when it hits that 10 meg uh, we've got to cut up the traffic prioritize things like voice and video and decide what it can drop if it needs to drop some so let's get into the configuration all right let's start configuring this and we're going to want to be in global config mode and the command to enable QoS first of all is MLS QoS and that's a global command and that's it you've turned on QoS next what we want to do is define these classes and this one is going to be class map match all VLAN 88 and you can name it whatever you want we're just making it easy here and we're just going to match the VLAN tag 88 and anything coming in on VLAN 88 will go into this class and we can uh, do actions on it. Next one is the class map um, for VLAN 148 and it's the same thing we're just going to match anything on VLAN 148 that this uh, switch sees and put it into this class. Next one is going to be video and again I'm just naming these really easy you can name them whatever you want and uh, we're going to ma match IP precedence A precedence flag is anything with precedence 4 we're going to group into video and last but not least of course is voice and that those are going to come in with precedent 7 so anything with precedent 7 uh, we will prioritize as uh, voice all right uh, let's jump into uh, prioritizing these classes the first thing we got to do is create a policy map and we're just going to call this one prioritization name it whatever you want Let's have a uh, description here called traffic prioritization because that's what it does. So let's figure out what to do with this class called voice. Uh, we're going to give it strict priority, meaning do not drop these when the network is congested. Um, the next one is the video class, and we're just going to give that 20% of remaining bandwidth after voice has eaten up, I don't know, depending how many calls, right? And the last one is um, basically we're saying telling the the router switch to whatever uh, whatever's coming in untagged or basically everything else and the command for that is going to be class and it's class default and as you can see by the description there it's basically saying everything else you give that bandwidth um, just like like I said 80 percent and uh, random detect that's going to uh, randomly drop TCP packets or packets to force TCP to back down transmission rates. Alright, we're going to create another policy map here and this is what we're going to do is nest the prioritization policy into this one. This is the traffic shaping thus named shape out and really this is going to throttle us down to 10 meg and prioritize the traffic according to our rules in the prioritization policy map which is Prioritize voice, do not drop it, uh, give 20% uh, bandwidth to video, and 80% to everything else uh, when congested. 
Now, class VLAN 88, we're just going to apply service policies. Probably not necessary. This is just the management VLAN. But uh, again, just so we can see this command, service policy um, prioritization. And again, may, well, you know, you never know. Uh, misconfigured uh, port out there, uh, somebody running BitTorrent, and uh, you're in trouble. You're going to need this prioritization. Next one is class uh, VLAN 148. And this one's actually going to get throttled down. This is where the users are. We'll give them at 10 megabit. So we're going to go shape average 10 and six zeros. And this is the traffic profile. Anything above this, uh, we will start to act on. And uh, the action we are going to do is start cutting up that bandwidth according to uh, the prioritization service policy. All right, we're almost home. We just got to apply this. Uh, service policy shape out to the interface and the outfacing interface is going to be gig 111 and this is an ES or um, enhanced service port on the 3750 and the command is easy it's a uh, service policy output and the name of the policy which is shape out and there you are we're done with the head end uh, we're gonna move on to the remote side and uh, get that going and we'll have end-to-end -end QoS pretty soon. Alright, we're now co counseled into the remote end uh, 3750 and let's see how fast I can talk you through this one. We're just going to go real fast here. We're going to enable QoS first. Um, next is start creating the classes. Natural VLAN 88. We're just going to make it the same names uh, because really there are the same VLANs and same classes and traffic. Uh, coming through this one, you know, VLAN 148, <clears throat> and the video voice, voice video traffic. And these precedence bits, they're being set on the device uh, that's doing video, or you can set them at the switch um, using much the same uh, commands or, or methods here. Uh, you're just giving them IP precedence, you're modifying that packet that, that uh, that section in the packet to give it that precedence and when this sees it it's going to throw it into a class and a policy map to prioritize it always get added description especially if you don't name them uh, very intuitively and class the voice when you give that priority do not drop that the video will just give it 20 percent your quality will start to drop at that point but we can live with it and everything else um, we can configure um, as the default class or um, I don't know why they put it uh, backwards here class default and we'll just give that 80% of the remaining bandwidth and turn on this random detecting there's a whole document on random detect it's, it's it's a uh, method or algorithm they use to um, force TCP sessions to back down the transmission rate. Again, the same uh, policy map shape out to throttle down this traffic to our 10 meg limit before AT&T starts uh, dinging us and dropping the packets on the floor, on the floor of the CO. Again, with a VLAN idiot probably unnecessary in this example more necessary is this VLAN 148 where the users will be and uh, shape average 10,000 that's just the uh, traffic profile anything outside of this profile start applying this service policy and it's going to be prioritization it's going to be that uh, party 20% video 80% everything else Let's get into this interface uh, again. Gig 111 connected at a gig. That's why we've got to throttle it down to 10 meg. And the command service policy output shape out. Now let's just go ahead and uh, quickly verify all this here. We've got QS turned on. Let's look at all our classes here. How they look? Looking good. 
Let's look at our policy maps. You see prioritization at the top, shape out at the bottom. And yes, I run a pink terminal screen. And let's look at the uh, service policy on the interface. All done. We've got QoS. Thanks for watching.